In this video, we're bringing Snake Discovery, their very first Superdorf reticulated python. Oh wow. my gosh, look at her color. Along the way, we're gonna play with some of their amazing animals and even help microchip their rattlesnakes. But first things first, we had to drive all the way to Minneapolis. And guys, it was so cold. Really cold in shorts. As soon as we got there, we ran into Ed and Emily and they had this really cool car with snakes on it. <laughs> yeah, you guys I came like on like the worst. <laughs> there was so much snow in the parking lot that Garrett tried to do a donut, but that ended up not being a very good donut. <sighs> Hurry up, I'm cold. Welcome to your new home. The first thing we noticed is that everything looked a lot more finished compared to the first time we'd been there. This yeah. place looks very different, oh, actually. Right. It's been like a year and a half. You were like not even done with the zoo yet. Yeah, oh, that's so changed so up. much. It's been a fun journey. It's not completely done yet. Like, there's always something we're tweaking, but. I could not wait to go inside and check out all the animals they had on exhibit. Guys, this is crazy. I basically get the Snake Discovery's entire zoo to myself right now. Cause I don't even know where to start. Guys, you know I'm a kid at heart. So I had to check out the secret tunnel that goes behind Rex's enclosure. Ooh, dude, this is crazy. That's so fun. I feel like I'm at McDonald's in those play places again. <laughs> and guys, it turns out alligators look so cool on camera. Now after saying goodbye to Rex, I went to check out all the other crazy animals there were. What's up little buddy? Hey dude. Garrett, can we get turtles? They're so cute. They're like goldfish with so much more personality. But my favorite might have been the oxalotls. But check out this crazy Lichianus gecko. He looks like a wrinkly old man. The they're, pattern, the lichen that's supposed to be on their like, scales. They're like squirrels that are melting. Are you familiar with breeding these guys? Like, yeah. you have to be careful with them? From what I understand, you can only breed one male to one female. And if the female smells another female on the male, she'll kill him. The females will beat up a new male. If he can't take it, she'll kill him. That's Bombasar. actually exactly yeah. how it works in the Hartle family. Four kids in, man. It's getting rough. I couldn't get over how fat and wrinkly they were. Yeah, he is a chunk, too. Yeah. He's got some weight mm. to him. Hey, don't let them body shame you. Beauty comes in all sizes. Are you gonna be able to take the beating? Let's see, I'll give you my secrets. <laughs> After that, we saw this gecko who's trying so hard to stay camouflaged. Dude, you're doing such a good job, man. Nobody can see you. They even had a Gila monster. They look like monsters, you know? Like cute monsters. I mean... After seeing all these crazy animals, we knew that a super dwarf was gonna be perfect in this collection. I love her. But before we brought her out, we asked Ed and Emily what was the real reason that they started the reptile zoo in the first place. One, we wanted to get Rex, our alligator, out of our basement. We wanted to have a bigger enclosure for her with more water and stuff like that, and her to have more interaction, which she loves now in the zoo. I think the other part was, what if YouTube tanks? Where do we go from there? So we're like, we should probably have our eggs not in one basket. And it had always been a dream of mine to start a reptile store. After checking out their animals in their zoo, we gotta go back into their employees only section to see what they have hiding back there. If an animal's sexy enough, it's allowed to bite. <laughs> Are you in heaven right now? Yes. Yeah, we haven't filmed these guys yet. Ooh, look at that one. Right. Look at the head oh, stamp. Yeah. Look at the head stamp it's connects. It's like super highway. Yeah, so hi baby. Oh, that one's so that one's fully cute. matured. It just didn't come out. Oh. Yeah. yeah. The yeah, you can match. see the color and everything. Uh -huh. oh, it happens sometimes. There's another one hiding under here. Oh, yeah. There they are. Those are so cool. Like they even had these crazy looking bugs and so many of them. But this last one absolutely blew me away. That thing is huge. I don't think I've ever seen one before. Oh my Hercules gosh. beetles larvae. So they do have pinchers. Does it hurt when they pinch you I on the lip? Do you uh, want to find out? Try. We don't know. You can, you can get pinched by them if you want. <laughs> No. I've never tried. Yeah. I just didn't really want to oh, get it. Oh man, right? he is hard. Yeah. Good boy. What? But you guys won't believe what happened next. Right before we were about to give Ed and Emily their very first Superdorf retake, we ran into Luke's Bug Adventures and his family, and they had a huge surprise for us. This is a Dragon Mantis Stenophilia Lobby Vertex. That's insane. <laughs> Hi, honey. And the crazy thing was, they were sending these mantises home with us for Garrett's daughter, Kira. Is this this a is a dragon man. No, it's so to see. Whoa. Oh, look at Isn't her. Crazy? <laughs> this is a truncata, dared play as truncata dead leaf mantis. <laughs> Here we actually have a pretty rare mantis. This is a Parablepharus culei asiatica. 
Also known as the Darth Vader Mantis. Yeah, <laughs> Whoa, we should have brought more. That's of crazy. Those. This is exactly like my old ones. Guys, make sure to go check out Luke's Bug Adventures on YouTube. We'll put a link to his channel in the description. Num -num. So cool. okay. All right, guys, enough anticipation. It was finally time to give Ed and Emily their very first Super Dwarf retake. Yeah, I think you should be here. Okay, yeah, have that as a background. Okay. It's a lot of work traveling to programs with a big boa constrictor, a bunch of little snakes, and a big Burmese python. We need something smaller from Asia, like, like a Super Dwarf retake or something. Super Dwarf? Hey, Red, what are you doing here? <laughs> I've been hiding behind one of the Universal Rock backgrounds ever since the first build-off. That's where you disappeared off to. You yes, and I've just been waiting for to surprise you with this girl. She's actually a year and a half old now. I <laughs> wish you would have said Super Dwarf a long time ago. I'm sure my kids miss me. We have never owned a Super Dwarf retake before. Oh, and man. I've always wanted one of your snakes, especially one to use in programs because they're so much more portable than a big Burmese python. But we need an Asian species to bring with us to libraries and stuff. So so, can't wait to Well, I try to get you something with color and personality, so. And swag. Look at that. That's awesome. Reachareptiles.com. We have one of those uh, stickers on the other side of that wall over there. Oh, is it still there? Yes. Yeah, so you didn't take it. I thought uh, you guys took it down. I need to go find it. Guys, okay. uh, it's still there. Snake Discovery's newest <laughs> snake. Oh, oh wow. my gosh. Wow, look at her colors. Holy yeah. moly. And she's a year and a half old. Thank you so much for the, like a beautiful morph. I love her. She seems pretty well mannered too. Oh, she's super chill. She will be an amazing addition to our programs. Cannot wait to watch her grow. Thank you so much for her, Garrett. Do you want to check her out, Ed? Sure. Okay. She's gorgeous. She yeah. is beautiful. Just the vibrancy of the yellows right on the side here. Yeah. It gets so stunningly yellow. And that purple. <laughs> she's beautiful. Gorgeous. Yeah. She's so pretty. Well, we don't get to hold, handle many retics here. Hi. Oh my gosh. Oh, she's so pretty. Guys, I think this is going to be the perfect home for her. Now that things were starting to wind down, it was the perfect moment to pull out some of the more dangerous species that Snake Discovery has in their zoo. Hey, Sushi. You're not eating, are you? So you just use the hook to let them know that you're coming. There's no heat signature on there. And I don't know the temperament of this animal at all, so I'm just going to make sure I keep her head pointed away. I don't know how you guys keep this clean. We take the hose and we just high power. No biting. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Come on, sushi. Yeah, Stay she's cool. a good girl. Here we go. It's for your spatial awareness, okay. sushi. Uh -huh. This is what the rest of the place I looks know. like. So when she escapes, she knows she exactly. This is right what's over the horizon. That's how these spots are right up top. Yep. Just <laughs> pop those black tiles yep. up and help yourself to the ceiling space. Man, a wild gear in his natural oh habitat. How are you guys? It. Mangrove snakes, are they nice? Can I hold one? We've never held them, to be honest. Can I play with them? I mean, I'm not liable if you get bit, but they're only rear fangs, so what can they do? Chunky boy. Oh. Let's go, chunky monkey. These guys usually put on a pretty good display. See that threat display? Oh, yeah. Inflated throat. Hey. Who's a cute little mangrove snake? Yes, you are. <laughs> you oh, go. that was cute. It was a cute little mangrove. That was such a fierce fight. Aw. <laughs> did you get that? <laughs> yeah, I did. That's so cool. That's true. These guys are notorious for big, giant, open mouth bites, but no venom. They have venom. Yeah, yeah. They're notorious for not giving you any. They're usually not trying to bite until after quite a bit of threat display. He's not threat displaying nearly as much as the little one was. No. He's like not even nervous. He's a good snake. But the day was about to take a hair raising turn. There were two rattlesnakes that needed microchipping, and Garrett could not miss the opportunity to play around with them. We are microchipping rattlesnakes. Ooh. It's gonna be fun. That sounds so much fun. Yeah. Guys, what you're seeing here should not be tried at home. Garrett and Emily are trained professionals and know exactly what they're doing. Uh, don't try this at home. Do you want to hold this for me? Yeah. And I'll scream at you if I need it. It'll probably sound like, it's biting me! That's how you know. Go ahead. Ready? Yep. Tube. Do you want a tuber? Nope, you can do it actually. Should do. See if I can get her in. This one's pretty small. Hey kid, come here. Oh, mm -hmm. I love you that. got a good reverse on you. What you do? This is where 
Add let it go, let it go. Yeah, there we right, go. There we go. Nice. Boom. All right. Beautiful. All right. We're going to go a couple inches above her cloaca. There we go. Here, Have so. you guys ever fell a rattlesnake? Crazy keeled scales. Whoa. You can touch a rattle too if you want. Yeah. Sweet. Uh, Success. Now the small one. one. Are you ready, Em? Small yeah, small He's like, I don't think so. Saw what you did the last guy. I'm not getting any shot in the butt. Let's try it. No. These tight tubes are tough. Whoa! That was close. I almost had him. Close No. <laughs> She's in there. No, I ran already there. Okay, give me the little one. Go easy, because those are sharp edges. Go ahead, keep going. Come here, buddy. There, we, there go. we go. Push, push. Perfect. Okay, okay. see how far you get it in. Yeah. Dude, I jumped. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm you sure you heard my <gasps> dodged. You got him? So, done, done. Keep going. Tackle, tackle. Oh, there. After that, it was finally time to part ways with our beloved Superdorf. I love you. I want to give a huge thank you to Ed and Emily for being such gracious hosts. We had an absolute blast. Make sure to go check out their animal zoo if you're in the area. And if you don't know who they are, make sure to check them out on YouTube. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.